Now we're going to move into covalent bonds. And I want that you remember that covalent bonds join atoms into molecules through electron sharing. So for example, here you find an example of a covalent bond. That is the, few, the a chemical bond between two hydrogen. Covalent bonds take place between non-metallic elements with similar electronegativity. These two atoms of of hydrogen will have the same electronegative negativities, and so they will create a covalent bond. Something very important is that the covalent bonds are the strongest kind of chemical bonds, and two or more atoms held together by a covalent bond form a molecule. And as I said before, this is an example of a covalent bond that is the gas of a, a hydrogen molecule. Now we're going to talk about how to represent graphically uh, these molecules and there are four alternatives and not only graphically how to represent them. So for example here when you have the, these two hydrogens and you're going to to make a molecule you see that here in the first electron shell you have an empty space and here you have another empty space that is they are looking for an extra electron so how do you represent this covalent bond there are four ways to do it you have a name and a molecular formula you have a, an electron distribution diagram that is a very detailed you also have the Lewis dot structure and the structural formula that it will give you the electrons and finally you have the space filling model so you have these four ways to represent common molecules so here for example this is the hydrogen and this is will be the molecular formula this is the electron distribution diagram that is show you only the two uh, electrons um, that are being shared here and they show you the orbit the orbitals uh, of the electrons here in this one you can just make a line or you can have a dot two dots representing the chemical uh, bond that is created and the simplest one that is just give you a, a three-dimensional representation which will be the space filling model now let's do the same type of chemical bond but instead of hydrogen let's try to do it with oxygen so again here you have remember the first rule you, you need to have up to two so here you have one and two electrons in the first shell so this is full and uh, so there is no need of a new electron however if you see here you need to have up to eight electrons and here you will need one and two electrons so the other oxygen you will also require to share two electrons so these two atoms can form a molecule of oxygen and now let's try stop the video for one minute and try to fill this table what do you think that how the name and the molecular formula will look like how the electron distribution diagram look like the, the structural formula and also the space field mode so take a minute and try to do it and i will solve it in a sec okay now that you already tried to do it the name is it will be oxygen and here you have oxygen too the electron distribution so here you have the the two electron shells because it's, it's more detailed than the other uh, alternative way to represent the molecules and here you will have one two three and four here you will have four electrons that are being and two that are being shared from each atom of oxygen here this will be the lewis dot structure and the structural formula 
again here you find the four elections that are being shared two of each one and here instead of one you will have two lines because you have two chemical and um, two bonds and finally the space filling model now let's going to do something similar but using a, a normal molecule so these are the two molecules that we have studied and the next thing that we're going to do is trying to draw the four alternative ways to represent water so remember try to using all of this information how would you draw how would you represent the molecule of water so stop the video for a second again and we can do it together i'm going to give you some hints in case that you haven't done it remember here we have one and here they are looking to one space and one space here they have one and here they have one and a space so this one can fill this space and this one will fill this space and both will will have the electron shell full this one the first electron shell and this one the second electron shell so the molecular formula very easy to do the electron distribution diagram so here you have they are sharing one from the hydrogen and one from the oxygen and here they are doing the same thing so the here in colors you can see it much clearer represented in green you will see the one from oxygen and in black you see the one from the hydrogen the, they are creating bonds and sharing these these electrons here they will, this will be the representation of the structural formula and this will be the space filling model here i show you an example of a, a covalent bond and just to remind you there is only in covalent bonds in molecules that are only one element they both have the same electronegativity and so for example in these two cases and remember that the electronegativity is the attraction or the pool of shared electrons and these are considered non-polar co uh, covalent bonds however the water is completely different is not one element is two where you have water you have hydrogen and you have oxygen and these two the oxygen will be super electronegative and so these well these one are non-polar covalent bonds water will be very different and this will be very important to understand the water properties and this will be very important to understand why life exists in our planet so as i said before with the water we have a different property because the water has atoms with different electronegativities so if you see here you see that in this schematic you see these arrows these arrows what they are showing us is that the electrons tend to be in the middle that they are shared in the same degree in the oxygen and the water in the place of water uh, you will find that the atom the electrons will be closer much closer to the oxygen so the oxygen attracts the shared electrons more strongly than the hydrogen so they will spend more time close to the oxygen and as a result these the oxygen will be more negative slightly more negative charge while the hydrogens will be slightly more positively uh, positively charged and as a result water is a polar molecule now we're going to talk about ionic bonds and to do that i want to show you this old-fashioned simulation that show the attraction between ions of opposite charge yeah so here very important ions in of opposite charge and if you see here you can see in gray you will see the sodium and if you see the sodium will donate this uh, electron to the chlorohydrate that you can see it in green and the chlorohydrate will accept receive that electrons and now in that case both will fill the electron uh, shells and they will be more stable 
So an ion is an atom or a molecule with an electrical charge resulting from the gain or loss of an electron, as I show in this old-fashioned animation. Um, two ions of opposite charges attract each other, like in this case. This one is positive, while all the sodium is positive, the chlorohydrate is negative. And when the attraction holds the ions together, it is called a ionic bond. And salt is a synonym for a ionic compounds. So what you just saw was an ionic bond. And just to remind you, to summarize, you saw uh, electrons from the sodium transfer to the chlorohydrate, like it's showing here. You can see this electron transfer to the chlorohydrate. And as a result, the sodium become positive and the chlorohydrate became negative. And this is not uh, is not only in this case, it's in all the cases. And always when you lose an electron, as the electrons are negative, this will create an ion that it will be positive. So here you can see this is why the sodium become positive. And on the other hand, if you see here, the chlorohydrate, the opposite will happen. As they gain more electrons and electrons are negative, they will have a negative charge.